In the series of learning programming in C, we have discussed all the loops for while, do while, as well as we have discussed nested loops, nested for, nested uh, while, nested, do while loop, right? So now from this video, I'm going to start discussing some programs, printing pattern programs, 5, 4, 10 printing pattern programs we are going to discuss, right? But first, in this video, we'll discuss how to print this pattern, right? But first, please check out that video where I have discussed what is need of nested loops, right? In that video, I have discussed how to print a pattern like, like this, this pattern. This kind of pattern I have discussed in that video, right? This video would be very basic and this video, video would be really, very helpful to get all the programs that are, we are going to discuss, all the printing pattern programs. Okay, this is the basic video. So please, I recommend you to check this video first. I'll put the link of that video in the side button. You can check out. In this video, you, you will get the idea why we are using two for loops. Every single line, the meaning of every single line I have discussed with proper example. So that would be really, uh, this video would be really helpful for you. Please check out that video first, then come to this video. Then you will get this video very easily, right? So now see, here I am printing five lines and in each line I am printing five stars. But the pattern is this one. Lines I am printing five, but in first line I am printing one star, then two star, then three, then four, then five. And this could be like this. You can print ten lines, right? And in this line, 6 star, then 7 star, 8, 9 and 10, these kind of, uh, 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 no, a pattern you can print. If this is what a triangle. See, now I'm going to discuss this one, only the logic on this board will drive in that program. After, I'm not writing the complete program here, but after that, after discussing the logic, I'll show you the output on that VS code, on that, that ID, right, on my laptop. So please, I have, in, in the previous video, I have already told you, please install VS Code as well as that compiler MinZW and extension like Code Runner for uh, your uh, compiling the program and uh, running the program, right? So I hope you are done with it. If you are not done and if you are facing any problem, you can tell me, I'll make a video, I'll upload a video on that thing also, like how to install VS Code or uh, compiler and everything, right? So now get your laptop ready now. See. I'm just going to discuss the logic here. So now here two for loop unit nested for loop. Why? Why the reason you will get when you will watch this video. One for loop is to print these lines. How many lines? Five lines, right? So outer for loop would be you will take a variable i or j. You can take any variable, right? And in inner for loop you are actually printing. So in first line I am printing one star. In second line two star, right? So when i is equal to 1 means this line, i is equal to 2 means you are printing this line, i is equal to 3, this i is equal to 4 and i is equal to 5. But if i is equal to 1, then the inner loop would be j, right? Here I am printing, j should run how many times? Only single time because only one time I am printing star. Here when i is equal to 1, then j was running how many times? 5 times. When i is equal to 2, at that time also j was running 5 times, right? Please check out this video first. After that come to this video. Now, when i is equal to 2, then j is running how many times? 2 times. 1 and 2, 2 times I am printing, right? So, how to print actually? Just write down a for loop, j is equal to 1, right? And j less than equal to, now here j is not fixed, here j was fixed 5, so I have written j less than equal to 5, because every line I am printing star 5 times, but here j is what changing, first 1 time, then 2, then 3 star, then 4 star, then 5 star. So now what you can write here, see i1 j is running 1 time, i is equal to 2 in second line, j is running 2 times. When i is 3, j is running 3 times, 1, 2, 3. Here 4 times, here 5 times. So I hope you are getting my point. j should be less than equal to i, right? And j plus plus. And within this, you are just printing star. This is inner loop, right? And we are repeating this again and again. So we will put these statements in an outer loop that is for i is equal to 1 
and i less than equal to now i is what number of lines outer for loop is what to print number of lines how many lines five lines so i less than equal to five right and i plus plus and as well as in the uh, after this inner loop in the outer loop what you have to print because after printing one star next two stars should be printed in next line next three stars should be printed in next line right so after the inner loop completion after running the inner loop two times then new line then again new line after each line a new line so new line how many times you need new line operator 1 2 3 4 and 5 or obviously you can say 4 right so now 5 5 times so now new line operator we will print we will write down in outer loop not in inner loop right so now that's it this is the logic you can see uh, when we dry run this program i i is equal to 1 i less than equal to 5 yes condition is true so now control will enter here now j is equal to 1 so now j is also 1 at first j less than equal to i i value is 1 J one J is also one one less than equal to one yes condition true so control will enter here so now we are just printing what star first right now J plus plus J becomes two two less than equal to i i is one is condition true no so control will go out of the loop immediately what statement we have written after after this loop print f slash n so now cursor would move to next line slash n right now. I plus plus because now we are in outer loop. I plus plus now I becomes two. Two less than equal to five. Yes, condition true. Again, enter into this loop. Now what? Again, J is equal to one, so J would be initialized again to one. Now one less than equal to I is two. Yes, condition is true. Control will enter here again. We are going to print here star. J plus plus now J becomes two. Two less than equal to two because I is two here. Yes, condition is true. Again, we are going to print one star. Now j plus plus j becomes three. Is three less than equal to two? No. Now control will go out of the loop and slash n. Slash n means now cursor would be in next line. Now i plus plus. Now i becomes three. Three less than equal to five. Yes, condition true. Again enter here, right? Again j would be initialized with one. So now again check the condition and this should be repeated, right? Now in this line, three star would be printed next. Next four star would be printed next. Five stars should be printed when i becomes five. Finally, when i becomes six, i plus plus means i becomes six. Now six less than equal to five. Condition is not true. So now control will go out of this four loop, right? And now this pattern should be printed. In the previous program here, what we were writing here. Are j less than equal to five? That's it. This is the only change in this program. So if you got this program right by watching the previous video, then you can easily modify according to the pattern, right? So now let me show you. I hope you you got it. Now let me show you this program on that terminal. See. So now let me show you the same program on this IDE now. Let me. Create one more file pattern two dot c. I have already created pattern one, right? So now, see. I hope you can include the header file and you can write on this void main. So now we are going to take two variable i and j, right? And two for loops. Outer for loop would be to print line. So i is equal to one. Semicolon i less than equal to how many lines I want to print according to the pat according to the pattern uh, five lines, right? And now i plus plus. And within this we are going to write one another for loop that is for j. So j is also starting from one and j less than equal to i, right? And j plus plus. Fine. And now within this inner for loop, what you are doing, you are printing star, right? And one more thing, in this inner for loop, you are printing star, and in outer for loop, you are printing what? New line, 
right why new line we I have already told you. So, now that is it let me run this and see what output you are getting. See you are getting this this kind of output and this is what exactly what we want right this kind of uh, pattern. Now, if you want to print what 10 lines simply you have to write down here i less than equal to 10 and that is it right 15 lines you can easily write down here 50 right whatever you want to print or if you are not you do, do not want to do hard coding then you can just take a simple variable like uh, n and uh, at the run time you can uh, ask the from the user enter value of n and here you can write down i less than equal to n right. So, now that is also fine and this is what hard coding fine. So, I hope you got it now how to print these lines see for in the previous video I have told you what we were printing printing we were printing a star in a square pattern right like this this is the program this is the program pattern 1 let me run this program for you and what output you are getting this kind of output you are getting right. In every line I am printing 5 star and I have 5 lines so that is why outer loop is less than equal to 5 and inner loop is also less than equal to 5. But in this case in first we are printing only 1 star in second line we are printing 2 star then 3 star then 4 star that is why we are printing here less than equal to i uh, writing here less than equal to i. So, I hope you are getting my point now. So, now I hope you got how to print this pattern see please let me know in comment box if this procedure of explaining the program is fine like first of all discuss it the logic on the whiteboard and then I will show you the output on the uh, screen on that uh, laptop right or if you want me to change something you can suggest me in comment box. So, now I hope uh, you, you got this program now I will see in the next video in that video we will discuss some other pattern right. So, now till then bye bye take care.